National Senator Bridget McKenzie fronted ABC News Breakfast earlier this morning to field questions about the NSW floods. Here is the relevant exchange. National Senate Leader Bridget McKenzie. Alex Ellinghausen. Journalist, given the anger that has been seen on the ground in some places, do you think in hindsight that your government did enough and did it fast enough to help people who really needed it? Mackenzie, I've just returned from a visit with the Prime Minister to both the NSW flood-affected communities and those in Queensland, and it is devastating. We've seen 21 Australians lose their lives. We've also seen incredible stories of bravery and kindness. Hearing from young Matt, a 20-year-old who grabbed the jet ski out of the garage as his father's cattle washed away a couple of hours previously and rescued over 30 people in Lismore during the night. And he was only 20 years old. I think our government is standing shoulder to shoulder alongside the Queensland and NSW governments to assist these communities right through the immediate response and the recovery. Journalist, but should there have been help faster? That's the basic question that people on the ground are asking. Loading. Mackenzie, I know the emergency services in both states have worked as hard and as fast as they can. Everybody did as much of as they could in the immediate aftermath of the event. The ADF were deployed as soon as they were requested, and I know in the event in Lismore, we were able to get aerial assets to Bellina to start winching people off roofs within hours. At every step of the way, everyone has got as much assistance at that point in time as they possibly could. Journalist, the NSW Premier conceded it wasn't as good as it could be. Federal Coalition candidate, Andrew Constance says lessons have been learned. What do you think about this news kicking around of setting up a new unit in the military, so that people can be deployed in the first critical hours? So it doesn't come down to two guys in a tinner to actually save people's lives. Mackenzie, well, that is Australia in natural disasters. Whether you are a member in country communities of the Country Fire Authority, the SES, the RFS, or any number of emergency service volunteer organisations. It is that local response because we are a very big country and our natural disasters can occur at any point in our country and at any time. As always, at the conclusion, once we've got the cleanup complete and we are well into recovery, we will be looking at the overall response with state and territory governments and emergency services and seeing if we could do things better, what would it look like?